Mephisto is no one we wish to trifle with. Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an Avenger. <laughs> You're not that bad, Ilyana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself Doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. Come sit, Hunter. I can tell you want to. Your sense of humor is deliciously wicked. You're pretty awesome yourself, Hunter. You must have slipped. You wanted to know who was behind the Solus. Now we all know. How do you know Mephisto? He was the Dark Lord who kidnapped me from this realm and dragged me to Limbo. He raised me as his daughter. He was the only father I ever knew. And my biggest enemy. So, we are both the children of demons. Dysfunctional childhoods are something all the sons have in common. And yet, you overcame yours. If you can do that, you can overcome anything. Yes, I believe that. Suffering makes us strong. In a way, I owe him everything. Even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child. Gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. I would like to hear about the first time you expelled him from Limbo. He did it to himself, really. Mephisto made the mistake of putting me in a position where I... I had to kill my only friends in order to prevent him from summoning the Elder Gods. I could not take it anymore, and found a way to teleport back to my parents. But it had been so many years that they... didn't recognize me. In fact, they were terrified of me and called the police. So, I went back to Limbo, and used my own pain to form the Soul Sword. I used it to drive back Mephisto and take the throne. He was not expecting that. <sighs> That's enough about him for today. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Mephisto makes my skin crawl. Glad we stomped him and his gaggle of soulless goons. Heard about the Limbo adventure. Blade and I, we've worked with Johnny before. Blaze tried to sell us out and we're still going to trust him? He's what you call unreliable. Ileana called Limbo home. With that Mephisto creeper living there? Perhaps Ileana mistrusts me because my facial hair resembles Mephisto's. Robbie's hero worship. The parchment of power is here, within the walls of the abbey. I assume you overheard Robbie or someone talking about it. No. I could feel its power the moment it arrived. It was a numbing dread. 
The likes of which I have never experienced before. I worry for Robbie. Do you not think he can handle it? Sarah and Strange probably won't bring this up around him, but that parchment is not just random Latin phrases. It contains the words of Cathan himself. They are as dangerous as nuclear weapons. I have already heard those words spoken aloud. Blaze read from the page, and I saw what it could do. The power it unleashed. The Hellfire and destruction is only the beginning, I'm afraid. The page will not be with Robbie long. If Stark's plan succeeds, we will be rid of Cathan's only toehold in our world. Perhaps. The parchment is just one page of many, all carrying Cathan's vile message. Those pages were scattered across the globe. The hope was that they would remain hidden forever. Yet man, in his infinite wisdom, decided to collect them, and bind them into the Darkhold. And now Robbie has the final page. I pray he is strong enough to carry it. Hmm? Despite my skepticism... Hero tried to sell us out? I wish Robbie could have met Uncle Ben. He was the best there was. Alright. Guess I gotta spend more time with Robbie and try to get some of Uncle Ben to rub off on him. I'm kinda busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's gotta be done. If I don't, no one else will. You have the parchment. Our hopes are all riding on you right now. I can't believe I used to worry that I didn't belong here. Right. Now is the time for you to step forward. I already stepped forward. It's your turn. If there is something you need to get off your chest... You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. I just want to be alone right now. Thanks. I see things are going well for you, too. How'd you bring Wanda back? Was it some weird mystical ritual, or was it cognitive recalibration via spirit force trauma? To me, it looked like your soul punched Wanda's soul's face, and she came too. But I also drank way too much coffee this morning. One time, I ate an entire super grande burrito in one sitting. Sour cream, guac, black beans. The whole thing sat right at the top of my gut for a day and a half. It's not the same as having a piece of the dark hold stuck in your chest, but it also kinda is. Sucks about Blaze, though. They say never meet your idols. Not that I could blame you. Who wouldn't want to hang out with Johnny Blaze? Yeah, I wouldn't stress about it too much. My Aunt May has a saying. Living in worry invites death in a hurry. Yeah, and if you like that saying, she's got a lot more where that came from. I think she learns them from crypto quips in the newspaper. Hey, you should come over for dinner one of these days. You know, just to be friendly. It's always work, work, work around here. <laughs> oh, did Mephisto smell like rotten eggs? Uh, you missed a spot. Just kidding, you've covered all the spots about 50 times now. Look, feel free to say something if I'm getting on your nerves. That happens sometimes. I even get on my own nerves and have to say something. You can shut up now, Peter. You got it, self. Sip on my lip. <laughs> Do you ever get an insane craving for mac and cheese?
Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Time to talk, Hunter? I saw you witnessed our disagreement in the hallway earlier. I did. Yet you didn't say anything. I did not. The parchment contained some of the darkest, most twisted magic that's ever existed. Robbie's my friend, but I don't think he's strong enough to withstand those forces. If he doesn't pass that page off to someone else, it's going to consume him. You are right to worry about your friend, Blade. The parchment is powerful, and Robbie is only one man. If he's carrying the parchment alone, he's got the rest of us to carry him. And I won't let him forget it. That is a good sentiment. I hope that it will be enough. How much longer is he expected to hold the page? We are all waiting on Stark. Until he can finalize his plan to destroy it, we wait. All I can say is Stark had better hurry. Listen, if you want, you can call me Eric. But that's between us. I better not hear Stark throwing it around. Only Robbie Reyes can carry our one MacGuffin of great power. It's a lot of responsibility for one Ghost Rider, you know. All this excitement has really got me thinking about... Good to see Wanda back with her team. I'd offer to use the Staff of One, but I think the parchment is beyond its power. We are asking a lot from Robbie. Maybe too much. So glad you see it too. It seems to me that he's risking himself all for destroying the parchment. <laughs> Point taken. We will have to keep an eye on him. Make sure the page isn't having any strange effects on him. Maybe we can get Hunter to talk to him. See if he's okay. Not a bad idea. Robbie's walking around with a magical bomb in his chest, and it's insane that people think that's okay. I mean, it seems like Caretaker understands the danger, but nobody else wants to hear it. Robbie is doing very important work. He needs your support right now. I see. Support the cause, right? Just shut up and do what you're told forever. Not forever. Just until Tony is ready for him. I mean, be honest with me. Do you really think Stark's plan is gonna work? Because you know what I think? I think this is all about Stark getting back at Banner. And Robbie's just a tool for him to use, like everything else in the Forge. It may seem ridiculous and improbable, but I think Tony's plan is our only chance to stop this prophecy. We have to let him take the risk. It's a risk, all right. A risk with Robbie's life. We are all in danger, but I do think Tony owes us an explanation for his behavior. I swear, if anything happens to Robbie... And what exactly do you think will happen to Robbie while he is carrying the parchment? I don't know I exactly. Maybe the magic in the page will drive him insane. Maybe it'll wreck his body. Who knows? 
but I really don't want to sit around waiting to find out. I just hope Robbie makes it through this in one piece. Hunter, could you do us a great favor and go speak to Robbie? See how he's faring with the page. Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the nearer table was guiding our hand. It's weird. I just felt this need to be out here. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old Spirit of Vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yep, yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. If luck is with us, you will not have to carry the parchment for long. I can carry it for as long as necessary. However long Blaze had it, I can keep it for as long or longer. I did not mean to imply you did not have what it takes. But I do have what it takes. And I don't need luck. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. About that, I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it, and that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. If you read it, will it cause you to turn on us, your teammates? What makes you think I will? Do you know what it says? Not specifically. But I know it prompted Johnny Blaze to betray us. And I fear it could cause you to do the same, whether you are aware of it or not. Its power works in mysterious ways. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. Thanks for checking in on Robbie, Hunter. Did he mention that he promised to take me for a spin in the Hellride? Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus-pocus mumbo-jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, Hunter. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm gonna turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. 
I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Aw, oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Uh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Archman isn't going to blow itself up. Oh, you are gonna love this. You want the magic highlights, Tony? Highlight. Later. Careful, Hunter. Hunches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Surely you understand this is how Stark is with everyone else, do you not? I understand it, intellectually. Yet the outrage still burns in my heart. Fair. Just do us all a favor and try not to break his jaw, all right? We need him in one piece. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the Parchment of Power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll show him. A little friendly roughhousing among close compatriots? It's rare that I ever discuss my past, but you've become one of my closest friends, Hunter. Everyone knows me as Carol, but would you believe the name was Car Al? Hunter. They're not always glamorous, but these missions are still crucial to stopping Lilith. So thick I could claw it to shreds. Something or someone is going to snap. Did you hear Tony and Strange arguing? Who's next? Parker and Nico? Seeing good troops lose their minds not knowing if a tank was going to mortar their bunkers, but 
Seeing seasoned, enhanced heroes walking on eggshells is a new kind of unsettling. What, no stars and stripes hoorah pep talk from Captain America? <laughs> it must be bad. We'd lived with the dread, channeled the tension. This feels different. Lilith's got too many tricks we haven't seen. Tricks like mind control? We call that Tuesday at Xavier's School for the Gifted. I got a gut feeling that what's gonna come is gonna be more gnarly than usual. Bet I'll even be surprised. I'd even go so far to start taking bets. But that's too grim. <laughs> even for me. Well met. Yes? World didn't end yesterday. That's on us. I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter. Agatha, what are you doing? Casting a protection spell over the Abbey. Now that we are in possession of the Parchment of Power, we must be vigilant in guarding against its influences. What can I do to help? You can't. This is a very rare form of sorcery, practiced only by those who have passed from this realm. But you can watch over the others. This spell will only prevent the worst type of harm the Parchment can inflict, but can't stop it from making mischief completely. Mischief? What sort of mischief? There's no way of knowing for sure. But if there's one thing I am sure of, it's this. The words etched onto the page were written by Cathan himself. Not even my magic can silence them. They will affect us, if only in whispers. I mean, they're probably affecting us right here, right now, and won't stop. Not until Stark finally manages to nuke it from space. Then there is hope. There sure is. But until that happens, we need to protect ourselves. Speaking of... I should really finish this incantation. The spell cannot be completed without it. I will leave you to it then. Sleep well, Hunter. If you can. Yes, dear? The Hellride is ready and waiting. The Hellride won't let me down. Neither will Johnny Blaze. I think that was our best work. Everyone did their part. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Give me a minute. You got it. You heading to shop class? I might. <laughs> Swing on by. So is that a yes, or...? Yeah, I'll be there. Got a minute? I know you're busy. Thank you for bringing me along to strike back at Lilith. How's Ileana doing? Is she fitting in? Why do you ask? She had a hard time making friends at Xavier's school. Outside of class, she mostly stayed in her room. Doesn't seem that way here. The Midnight Suns have been good for her. She has really come into her own. Good. Thought as much. Always thought Xavier's wasn't the best place for her. Going from the Queen of Hell to the new kid in school wasn't easy. Queen of Limbo. Yeah, whatever. It smells like the devil's prostate. It's hell enough for me. You're all right, Hunter.
Shop class is supposed to meet tonight. So, just the two of us? Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince Robbie if I could get you to show. I'm sure everyone has something to say. Maybe. But... I already said too much. I have to fix this. We should not keep them waiting. Time to face the music. So, what did you want? A do-over? And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment, but a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah, I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say. To justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry. Okay... Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was the only kid who saw beauty in exhaust manifolds, who spent hours poring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here, to make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay, here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Well, that was less painful than expected. Thanks for coming, Hunter. We all needed to, uh, clear the air. If Parker needs any help with the prototype, I'm available. Or not. Whatever he wants. Glad that's over with. Feuding with Tony Stark is not an achievement I care to unlock. So, how about we make something new? Another day for retooling. We have a few more ideas in the backlog if you want to check them out. I finally have a use for the components you handed me. I'm ready to put this together. How about you? Took Tony long enough to figure out shop class, huh? I thought his suit had the thicker skull. I always believed Tony would do the right thing. That's where we differ. But I'm glad to be wrong. I'll let you get to it. Parker can't wait to dive in. Seriously, Parker is overexcited. Talk to him before he webs you up and yanks you over. I am ready. Parker's creative drive is amazing. Seeing how he tackles a problem gives me ideas of my own. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. I thought he was being overcautious, but that's a crafter's care. Wish I'd seen it earlier. Catch you later, Hunter. Think I'll stick around for a bit. Look, I don't want to brag, but I think this is our best work. Yeah, I know, blah blah, teamwork, blah blah blah, but still. It's impressive what we can do when we all work together. Let me know how that prototype works out. They can always use some adjustments. You know, I might stay for a bit more. I want to finish an adjustment to the Hell Ride. You ready to leave? I am ready to go. Hey, uh, Robbie. You got a sec? Sure. About Salazar Steel. I couldn't remember any details about the Stark Technology Center, so I did some digging. Ten years ago, Oscorp and Stark Industries were in a good old-fashioned business war. Salazar Steel was a promising acquisition. When we realized Oscorp was angling in, we bought the plant from Mr. Salazar. What we didn't realize was how much of his finances were a mess. 
poured his profits back into the plant. It was the only thing keeping the lights on. With the Oscorp thing, well, our stock couldn't afford to take the hit. We had to shut the plant down. Then, what was the technology center? A complete fiction. The only problem I saw from the boardroom was a dip in our stock from closing the plant. So I did the classic billionaire's trick of pitching a ridiculous idea that would take years to get off the ground. The stock rose, people celebrated my genius vision, and that was the last I thought of Salazar Steel. But I should have followed up, ensured the people who lost their jobs found new ones. Robbie, I'm not the man I was ten years ago. I'm glad you met me, and not him. This doesn't make you look good. Yeah, I, uh, I get that a lot. I meant, you aren't trying to spin this. That's... I respect that you shared this, warts and all. Oh yeah, of, of course. You deserve to know what happened. So, um... I'm going to tinker with the Hellride? You wanna... give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Tell me where you need me. Protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? After the traitor Blaze betrayed me to that demon, Robbie would not leave my side. Ileana tore through reality itself to find me. I am here now because of their actions, not yours. Then for once I am grateful to them. Still, I fear you have traded one problem for another. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze, but his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, Battled angels and demons alike, and rattled the thrones of far too many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on a mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? You were right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning. And Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. I hope the others slept better than I did. No, that can't be. I had that dream too. Maybe it was something we ate. Don't you mean someone? Hmm, I don't know. The stinks of a hex or a curse or something. If we all had the same nightmare, does that mean we all share the same subconscious neurosis? God, I hope not. The probability of every single one of us walking the same dream state is a billion trillion to one. It must mean something. Yeah, it means we might want to have a little chat with our friendly neighborhood hunter. Oh, I knew I should have let Mr. Murdoch copyright that for me. I still can't get that image out of my mind. Same here, and... That's saying a lot these days. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this all. There is... the parchment. I knew that page would find a way of messing with our heads. Or maybe it was warning us about you-know-who. Did you have the dream? What dream? 
I'm here if you want to talk about it. I'm assuming you had the same dream last night as the rest of us. I'm pretty sure I did not. What was it? I'll let Wanda tell you. She's better at communicating those kinds of things. All I can say is what I saw last night made me worry about you. I appreciate the concern, Robbie, but I'm all right. Whatever happened was just a dream. Yeah, you seem all right standing here in the light of day, but that dream last night? Feels like too much of a coincidence that every single person in this abbey shared it. I wish I could explain it. Maybe it is the page, messing with us, trying to make us suspicious of each other. It is possible. The full effects of the Parchment of Power have gone largely unstudied. And they will remain unstudied. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be destroyed. So, you are not going to read it? Hell no. And not just because I suspect it's giving me bad dreams. Because I know whatever Blaze read set him off so hard that he betrayed us. Wait, wait. Blaze can read? Oh, man. I'm just glad he's not here to hear you say that. Why not? I'm not scared to speak my mind to him. It would be entertaining, for sure. I think Wanda wants to talk to you. I, I should stop monopolizing your time and let her get a word in. Oh, and Hunter? Yes, Robbie? Take care of yourself, okay? Like, really take care. I always do. What is everyone so upset about? A nightmare. We all had the same one last night, and it has unnerved us. Wondering if you had the same one too. Would be weird if you were the only one in the Abbey who didn't. You mean the one about Lilith? Wait, you had a dream about Lilith? Is that not the one you all had? No, Hunter. We had a dream about you. And it was a pretty awful one, too. What? What about me? Let's just say you... Uh... Something threw you above us. Your face twisted in what could only be described as extreme agony. And... That's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to freak you out. I mean, it was just a dream, right? Probably. Everything will be alright. I just hope you're alright. Nightmare or not, it's shaken us up. Wanda, I promise you. It was just a dream. How can you be so sure? We should probably stop talking now. Everyone is staring. They are staring? Yep. They really are frightened, are they not? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, everyone here is just as afraid of me as they are of you. The parchment stays are numbered, Hunter. Come down to the forge. Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> signing up for the dream sharing club how do i unsubscribe seems like everyone had a restless night i hate to ask this but are you all right of course i am are you sure the dream i mean nightmare we all had of you the one everyone had but no one will tell me about Let's just say you should be grateful to have your collar to protect you. Protect me from what, exactly? Your mother, Hunter. Who else? If it wasn't for that collar, who knows how she might be able to manipulate you. I wouldn't put it past her to invade your dreams, the way I think she just invaded ours last night. 
Do you really think she can manipulate us through our dreams? Even in this protected pocket dimension? Anything is possible. In any case, best to keep our wits about us. I just don't want anything to happen to you, kiddo. Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. You should be more careful. Why, hello, honey. Lilith is toying with our emotions and our minds because she is desperate for the parchment. She is frightened of us. I'm trying to assume it was Lilith in all our heads last night. Don't prove me wrong, Hunter. Come on over, Hunter. I'm slinging some hot, fresh parchment blasting tech here. Is this it? Is this the thing that will destroy the parchment? You better believe it. That's the Gamma Accelerator. Plus a few tips taken from dear old dad's notes. Plus a few crucial adjustments. Plus some revolutionary new tech created on the fly. Are you sure it will work? I'm sure you've got a million questions. Come to the war room and you can hear my full spiel. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Oh, you are gonna love this. It was all a dream, right Hunter? Next time, could you dream of literally anything else? I'll even take one of those dreams where... That said, something still isn't quite making sense. The whole picture is fuzzy. We are missing something. Last night was no dream. Lilith intended us to witness that vision. It's rare that I ever discuss my past, but you've become one of my closest friends. Any time now, Tony. Yeah, you're being a little extra you right now. Forgive me if I'm a little excited that another one of my brilliant, one-of-a-kind inventions will thwart the apocalypse. Again. Uh-huh. What's the plan? No, uh-uh, not yet. I'm waiting until we have a quorum. Don't want to have to explain the complex calculations, algorithms, and other assorted science bits twice. The Forge Demon was right. You do know the sound of your own voice. Relax, will ya? When this works, victory blowout party at my Malibu estate. Everyone's invited. Even Strange. But he doesn't get a pony ride. Only reason to listen to Tony is to get directions to the rap party. You believe the cause is lost? Didn't say that. Did not say that either. I've seen the world end a few times, and I'm still here to talk about it. That is not saying much. You have a healing factor. We can't all be born as unlucky as me. Lilith has marked us all. I am tempted to say our fate is in her hands. Fate. The other F word. Scoff if you would like. Lilith believes in destiny. The problem is, we believe in our own destinies too. You sound like Steve. My words are my own, not Captain America's or Lilith's. Steve's a good thing. Especially with what we gotta do. One thing we can agree on. Hell ain't coming. Hell is already here. Once, I dreamt that I grew four more arms after the radioactive spider bite. Then I also grew mouth pincers. I even turned into a giant spider and went full kaiju on Midtown. So no more late night binging on Japanese monster movies when my spider sense is keeping me up. I don't like these apocalypse willies. I don't think the others have any nerves left to fray. Never been in any situation I couldn't claw myself out of. You and Lilith was not the worst nightmare I've ever had. 
But I am still unsettled by it. I tell you, I can't wait to fire this thing up. I don't like to say that I do my best work under pressure, but I think this time, I even amazed myself. This is impressive. You did this work incredibly fast. Chug a few Stark drives and there's nothing you can't speed through. Hopefully the sugar crash doesn't hit me while we're destroying the page. If you manage to stop the prophecy, I will be the first to sing your praises. So you're promising karaoke. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hunter. This thing won't fail. What about your father's research? Do you feel comfortable using it as the basis for this canon? I'm only perfecting the stuff he started. It's like I took all the skeletons out of my family closet, dusted them off, and now they're going to do community service. It is powered by skeletons. Don't worry. Figure of speech. No actual skeletons in there, just massive amounts of gamma radiation. Our friend Banner thought he was going to use it to get supercharged. But this thing's going to shut his team down, permanently. Let us keep our attention on destroying the parchment. We can deal with Hulk after. Oh, come on! I know multitasking probably wasn't a thing in your olden times, but it's the only way I get stuff done. Plus, I can't get Banner out of my mind. So... what now? Now comes the hard part. Explaining my plan to the team. I wonder if I have time to whip up some diagrams. People love diagrams. They turned me down last time I asked for a tour of NORAD, but I guess this is close enough. Lilith's messing with our minds, right? Because that dream is too good. Coffee makes the bad dreams go away. Trust me, just don't stir in any sugar and milk. Believe me, if I thought Lilith had any influence over you, Where's the webhead with my coffee? Weird dreams, huh? Probably just the end of the world jitters. You get used to them. 